So the article starts with a bit of description to see what's happening and we see that Madeline is on her phone. Now the word phone is our first word power word for the day. It is P-H-O-N-E, it's not an F, it's P-H-O-N-E. And for people who live in a cave and don't know what a phone is, here's our word power word. So a phone is, of course, a piece of electronic equipment that you use for speaking to someone on in a different place using a different phone. Here's an example. We need to turn off our phones before the movie starts. We need to turn off our phones before the movie starts. Yeah, especially you. Phone 这个名词呢是电话的意思。那文章中指的就是 cell phone 手机。例句说呢，在电影开始之前，我们必须将我们的手机关机。关机，我们说 turn off the phone. 那开机当然就是 turn on the phone.、Mm -hmm. So Madeline's on her phone when somebody's on somebody's phone. He or she is talking on the phone, 也就是在讲电话的意思。Yeah, and this time she is actually talking, not just texting.、Mm -hmm. So she is really on the phone. Although we can say someone is on the phone or using their phone、mm -hmm. when they're texting. Now we see that Madeline says, "Okay, honey, bye." 好的，亲爱的，拜拜。Oh, I can see where this is going. Some more description now, and we see that Madeline blows kisses into the phone. So to blow kisses is when you kiss your hand or kiss the air, and then sort of send the kisses over to someone who isn't quite close enough for you to kiss for real. 我们直接请 Pat 老师示范怎么 blow kisses into the phone. Can you show us how to blow kisses into the phone? Pretend that you're talking on the phone with your wife. Yes, sir.、Uh, bye, bye, bye. Oh, got it. Yeah. All、okay. right. So, <laughs> after Madeline does all of this, blowing kisses, saying "honey," Cynthia says, "Ew." Ew. No more PDAs. Okay. PDA. Here, PDA. It's a public display of affection, which is when you and your partner kiss or cuddle and all that sort of stuff in public. So a display is when you show something. Affection means love and really caring for people, and it's in public. So public displays of affection, PDAs, and of course. PDAs often make other people feel uncomfortable. Hmm. So Cynthia 才说 ew, 好恶哦 No more PDAs. 不要再放闪了好吗那 PDA 代表的是三个英文字 Public displays of affection. Public 是公众的 Displays 是展示 Affection 就是情感 So Cynthia also kind of then like get it, stop doing that, stop doing that.、Mm -hmm. She has something important to discuss. She says also. Shouldn't we work on our group homework? Okay, we have another word power word for you. Though in this case, it's a phrasal verb, and it's work on. So work w o r k then on o n work on. To work on something means to spend time producing or improving that thing. For example, I'm working on my school project right now. Please don't. Bother me! I'm working on my school project right now. Please don't bother me. To work on is 着手进行某事的意思 So I'm working on my school project. 我正在做我的学校报告不要打扰我 Okay, now this comment about working on group homework kind of moves the conversation on, and now Madeline says,、oh, "I forgot about that. I have a date with Liam." Oh, oh, that's his name. Madeline. 接下来就说我压根忘了，我跟 Liam 要约会。那我们知道这个 handsome boy's name is Liam. Liam. <laughs> yes, there we go. And so Cynthia, not unreasonably, is not happy. It's like, come on, we've got to work. Yeah, we got、You're、work to do. You're off with your handsome boyfriend guy. She says, again. You're letting our group down. Now, if you let someone down, you disappoint them, usually by not doing what you promised to do. So Cynthia 又说 ，Again， 还要再约会吗？还来吗？你实在是让我们的小组很失望。To let somebody down， 也就是 to make somebody disappointed， 让人失望。
And Madeline says, no, I'm not. I always do my best. To do one's best means that you try your hardest and you do everything you can. However, when people use it, we're kind of admitting that we failed. We tried hard, we failed, we did our best, but our best wasn't quite good enough. So, Madeline 这边说，我才没有嘞，我总是尽心尽力的，好吗 ？Is that true? I don't believe her.、Mm. To do one's best 也是尽某人的全力，尽全力去做某事。我们可以说 to do one's best to do something. So here, Madeline can say, I always do my best to help our group. 我总是尽全力帮助我们这组组别哦。But she, is she really? I don't know, but she's obviously upset. So Cynthia says, "Hey, calm down." Now here we're using calm, C A L M, calm, as a verb, as part of the phrase "calm down," meaning stop being angry, stop being worried, and just relax a bit. Calm down. 这里是冷静下来，不要激动的意思。那 calm 在这里当的是动词哦，所以 calm down 是一个动词片语。那 calm 还可以当做形容词，代表冷静的。I'm a calm person. 我是一个冷静的人。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Are you? Uh, mostly yes. Okay. Cynthia then adds, "Don't get butt hurt." Okay. Now this was a word that I didn't really know, except in its more obvious. But hurt、oh, in a kind、mean? of way. I had to look it up, and if in this case, but hurt is talking about someone who gives a big negative emotional response、mm-hmm. when they think they're being insulted. In other words, they are taking something far too personally. Oh, 看 Melody 那么激动 ，Cynthia 就说 ，Don't get butt hurt， 不要那么玻璃心，好不好？也就是 Don't take it too personally， 不要那么敏感。虽然这个字字面上看起来是屁股痛，可记得它是不要玻璃心的意思。Don't butt hurt. Yep. And moving on, we see that Madeline says, "I am calm." Now, as Elsie just mentioned, calm can be used and is being used here as an adjective rather than a verb. So it's the state of being relaxed, not worried, and not angry. So Madeline 这边就说了，我很冷静啊。此处的 calm 就是刚刚讲到的形容词，冷静的用法。Okay, she also adds, "You just hurt my feelings, though. Your feelings, or again in modern speak, your feels." Are your emotions? They are the things that you feel. Now, Melanie 就说了，你伤到我的心了。You hurt my feelings. 也就是 you hurt my emotions. Feelings 就是 emotions， 情绪，感觉。Yes, she has so many feels. Whatever that means. In response to this, Cynthia says, "Do you even think about?" My feelings. Okay,、Ooh. so she's kind of fighting back a bit here, and she answers her own question. She says, "No, because you only think about <gasps> yourself." Now, this this isn't really a modern expression,、mm-hmm. so I know this one already. If you only think about yourself, you are being selfish, which is S E L F I S H. Selfish. You ignore other people's feelings, or you don't even realize they have feelings. 所以这边 Cynthia 就说：“那你有想过我的感受吗？没有，因为你只想到你自己。” You're being selfish. Yep, you only think about yourself. Now, after that, Madeline is maybe feeling a little bit guilty, a bit bad, a bit sorry about her behaviour. She says, "I'll show up to work on the homework next time." So there, she's saying, "Okay, don't worry, don't be angry at me." Next time, I'll show up. Next time, I'll do it. So, show up. That is our next word power word. It's a phrasal verb. Show, kind of like yesterday's show, same spelling, S H O W. Then up, U P. Show up. Let's take a look. To show up means to arrive or appear at a place. For example, I waited at the bus stop for thirty minutes, but the bus never showed up. I waited at the bus stop for thirty minutes, but the bus never showed up. 
在昨天的文章中，我们看到 show 这个动词是出示给某人看某个东西。那今天我们看到它在一个动词片语里面出现哦，叫做 show up， 也就是出现的意思。我在公车站排等了三十分钟，但是公车就是没有出现。So you said there were two word power words in that sentence, right? Right, and the other word is next. N e x t, next, which is an adjective. Let's find out what it means. So, next, the next event, next day, next time, and so on, is the one that happens after the present one or after the previous one that you mentioned. Here's an example. Tommy will study Japanese at college next year. Tommy will study Japanese at college next year. Next 在文章中是一个形容词，代表下次的、紧接的或者是隔壁的。那例句说呢 ，Tommy 明年会在大学修习日文。So back to the conversation. Madeline 保证她下次 next time 一定会出现 ，but not this time. Yeah, next time exactly. Not now. Cynthia asks. What about this time? So Cynthia 就问了，那这次呢？你要去哪里？你还是要去约会吗 ？And Madeline says, "I'm going on a date. Remember? <gasps> Bye." 最后 Madeline 就很不负责任的说，哎，你记得我要去约会对吗 ？Bye. 走喽。Okay, and there's not much Cynthia can say to that. She just kind of says, "You really." And then we see that Cynthia does a. Face palm. What is that? Well, you know, you know what that means. <laughs> and now I finally get to learn it because it's the slang you used all the way back in the introduction to day one. Yep. Face palm is when you do this. Oh. Oh. Because you can't believe how stupid or rude someone, including you, has been. You put your face into your palm. So face palm. So face is 脸蛋 ，palm 是手掌。这种手遮脸无奈的动作就代表你很无言。And that face palm brings us to the end of the article. So now it's time for our magic box.